always love making up some yummy, delicious things on the show. And we turn to our friend, Erica Schlick. She's actually in LA, but we love chatting with her. She's a health coach. She's a blogger. She's a cookbook author. Erica, you have so many great things and your recipes are phenomenal. So I'm always happy when you're on the show. Yeah, always excited to be back on the show and share some of my healthy and delicious recipes with your audience. Yeah, so this salad caught my attention. Stone fruit and prosciutto. I love prosciutto when it comes to like melon and different things. So what stone fruits are you going to use? Today we're going to be using nectarines. And so okay. I really, really love just the juiciness of the nectarine with the saltiness and the crispiness of the prosciutto. I actually have gone ahead and pan fried my prosciutto a little bit to get it really nice and crispy and then chop it up with a knife. So it's a good alternative to bacon bits to use prosciutto, a little salt here, another flavor, and absolutely delicious on this salad. Okay, is that something that, you know, if people are deciding, should I do bacon or prosciutto, is there like a health choice to one or the other? Is it more just preference? It's more preference and depending what you're making. I like to use prosciutto for, say, eggs benedict or using it on a salad. Uh, you can use it in a sandwich too. Uh, bacon's more kind of like a, I don't know, breakfast burger kind of add-on, I think, in my mind. Yeah. Yeah, it totally is. So I like changing it up with the prosciutto. So once we've uh, fried the prosciutto, then where do we go? So the salad is actually quite simple. I've got a bed of arugula here and I've gone ahead and put some uh, grass-fed buffalo burrata cheese on it. And I like to use this one because it's from grass-fed cows, pasture super clean. Uh, also it's buffalo. So if you have a little bit of a dairy issue, this might be a good alternative for you. So we go ahead and just put that right on the center. And it's quite a simple salad. I've got my two nectarines here that I've gone ahead and chopped. And I just like to sprinkle those around, make it nice and colorful with the green. And then my favorite part, the prosciutto comes on. So we just go ahead and sprinkle the little prosciutto chopped bits on that. And you don't have to do, I did about two packs of this, but depending on how much prosciutto you want, you could also do one. I particularly love it. So the more crunch, the more prosciutto for me, the better, uh, but that's total personal option. I've got some fresh chopped basil here and you always wanna use fresh. The fresh herbs just give it such a nice flavor. It can be so simple. You don't even need a dressing on this salad and you can do a little bit of sea salt. I don't do too, too much because the prosciutto is already so salty, but just a little bit to bring out those flavors, especially on the stone fruit. And last but not least, I keep it simple and I just do a quick little drizzle of olive oil on it and that's it. It is ready to serve. And to eat it, what I do is I usually kind of cut the burrata into fours and then that way you can get a bite and you can kind of dip it into the cheese and that way you can find all the flavors. You get the creaminess of the cheese, the crunchy saltiness of the prosciutto and the fresh deliciousness of those nectarines. And you can still find nectarines in the store. I'm holding on to the last days of summer right now. You can also use peaches with it. Um, you know, you could do different kinds of stone fruit as well, but I find nectarines just are the perfect match for this. Oh my gosh. I wish you could just like, you know, transport that through the, <laughs> through the screen for Does it me. Work? It's, yes, it's such a good salad. And, and I like that salad too, because if people aren't really into arugula, they could change it up and maybe use a different kind of um, lettuce or green. And, um, you know, the Absolutely. burrata, same thing. I like that those people with those dairy issues, you know, that one makes it a little bit easier on them. So Absolutely. it's a lot of ways to change and it. And even if you did it without the burrata, you could probably even, it would be equally delicious if you just said the arugula, the stone fruit, and the herbs and prosciutto that alone is even delicious too so i literally lived off of this salad all summer it was like such an easy weeknight dinner it's filling so many flavors and you just feel so good after you eat it i love it well i'm a fan of burrata so i'm gonna make sure i keep a big old lump sum of that on my <laughs> salad erica if people want to follow you on social media or get their hands on your cookbook how can they do so Absolutely. You can get my cookbook on my website. It's the trail to health.com. It's also available on Amazon and you can find my blog and find me on social media as the trail to health. Fantastic. And Erica, your new kitchen is so gorgeous. Thank oh my gosh. You. I'm jealous. No wonder you're in there cooking all day. <laughs> Makes it a lot right, easier. Erica. You've got a good space. <laughs> Seriously. So true. All right. We'll see you next time, Erica. Thank you.